I am the first one to occupy an open file with a rook. So technically I have a very tiny advantage here. But in reality it's of course nothing. I'm allowing him to mess up my pawns a little bit so that I can get the rook to the seventh with impunity. Like, I am very slightly better. One centipede advantage, yeah, exactly. And he's thinking. So I like, like to make my opponents think. Four rook endings are drawn, yeah. They have even they have an even stronger draw drawing tendency is than two rook rook endings, but we traded off one rook. I guess that's good. Okay, let's go rook c seven, rook b eight. I don't think that's the way you should play. I'll go b four now. Pretty good chances. Mm. Auto mode held the message for a reason. Bullying. Hikaru is a crybaby loser. He isn't really, though. That's the problem with that statement. He isn't. Just a very strong chess player and streamer. Kind of messed this up. It's still really hard to win. Okay, let's go a4. I could have gone for rook b5 and try and win the pawn, but I wanna. I wanna bring the the king first. Yeah, he's. Not playing this end game well at all. Okay, let's fix those pawns for now. Take away counterplay. Now I just think. I think I just win automatically because he has zero counterplay. King here, but now. Oh, he, he can actually do that. Okay. Let's move the king up. Uh, I think we can just activate the king for the win. Yeah, we don't even have to go king b7, I think. Just take the pawn. And now we push. Can even give up this one. And now we just take this. For maximum safety. Okay. Well. I asked you guys. If you wanted an endgame lesson. In the game we were watching earlier. And we didn't have time unfortunately. But a lot of people said yes. And for those who said yes. You got one now. You know. This was an endgame lesson.